let's try that again, shall we? So, a um, little while ago I made a video on how to make old-style OSR maps, you know, the blue and white ones from Dungeons, and how to quickly replicate them in Dungeon Alchemist. I did that for Mate, um, because he said, oh, it's going to take so long, and basically it took me 15 minutes to do. Um, and I just posted the video today, actually, um, not really remembering how rubbish the audio was out of it. So thanks for those people who watched it and who commented on it. I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to remake that video. So, um, starting from scratch, I'm going to make a new map. And um, I haven't done this for a few weeks, so hopefully I still remember how to do this. This is a map I made for another scenario. So Dungeon Alchemist is basically a tool that allows you to make dungeon maps like this. You build them in 3D, and once they you have them, you can export them to Foundry or other VTTs of your choice, and then they give you the walls and they give you the maps, and it looks very pretty. Um, and it's good fun, actually. It's just a nice little sort of busy work if you don't have a lot of things to do or you just want to chill a bit it's quite relaxing stick on some music stick on some da and uh, you're away so but let's see um i'm going to make a new map and i'm going to go relatively big on this one i'm going to go 64 by 64 um it's going to be an indoor map so i'm just going to say dark parchment create yes it's in a large map but my computer should hack it hopefully <coughs> so i now have a, an empty map here and what I wanted to do, basically, you can see there's nothing in here. You just see the little white corner markings. If I zoom in, that's basically the grid size. So I want to um, load in an old style dungeon map now. Um, you do that with overlays. Um, put an overlay on, not an abstract one now. No, no. I want to trace overlay. Um, and I've got this here. So this is from an old D&D map. You can possibly recognize it, don't know. But this is the sort of style you used to get. And it's just blue and white. You can. So all I want is dungeon um, maps. I don't actually want any any interiors. Yeah? It's relatively large, so I can't work on everything at once. But let's see. I, I'm going to go for crypt, and I'm going to just go for dungeon. Um, actually, you know, for hallways. Just to show how it's done. And I'm going to tick off all the different things. Like, I don't want any windows on it. Um, doors and windows. Why can't I disable the windows now? There. Don't want any doors in it. Don't want any... Um, actually, doors, maybe. But no windows and no um, decorations. So, I then can go over here. And roughly... That should be 8 by 8 rather than 7 by 7 But let's just do it rough. Now, is that going to work? Because I can scale this. How did I scale this? Yeah, that's where the, the problem comes. Of not remembering what I did last time I did this. So... Yeah, close enough, that'll do. So, now I'm using this overlay to make some rooms. Yeah, empty rooms, they will just be empty and they will just be rough, just to show you how this works. So I'm going to make a room there, I'm going to make a room here. And of course you could choose other rooms and then they would uh, start putting some stuff in it, content. Um, I don't know what this adventure is. I have no idea what the rooms would actually be. It's just my friend Martin sent me this and said, let's... He said, oh, it takes too long on DA, you can't do this properly. And I said, oh, yes, you can. So let's make the rooms. And you can see you can just add different bits to rooms. I'm not doing the corridors yet until I've roughly seen how that works out. All the secret doors. Oh, this takes me back to my old days playing D&D. So many. Dungeon Alchemist currently has only fantasy assets. They are talking about once they are a bit further down the line delivering all the Kickstarter uh, stretch goals, then they might do something else. Thanks for the copy and paste. Um, at this point, you're right, it's fantasy. Uh, although I have made some Vason maps with it as well, so that works reasonably well. So, as I said, just a rough demo. Corridors, 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 corridors. Right. Let's call this a room. And there's a chasm in the middle of the room. And here. Let's see how close to I can get to this one. Ah, now it's joined it up. No, oh, no, I have to do it again. Um, there's actually, there are some other tools staring for. There are tools like... Um, what is it called? I've got it here. Uh, 
I've some gone straight out of my head. Let me have a look on my desktop. Um, no, I can't get to my desktop now. One of the things with DA, I don't know what happened recently, but it's only doing full screen for me nowadays. Uh, so I can't look right now. Sorry. There's Kronos, Kronos Builder. It just came to me. They have cyberpunk assets. We can definitely have a look at those. Um, I think there's a free demo. It's not as convenient as this, I have to say, but you can make some pretty cool street scenes and offices and so on. So, anyway, I just wanted to quickly do this one. Now I have to do it again. So let me just do the first lot of rooms. So you generate the rooms. And the, yes, they're empty, but you can, of course, change the asset and you can have different things there. Oh, dear. Hello. Hang on a second. So, dum, dum. so if you wanted to have a different hallway, I can show you that as well. And when I do the hallway, so I'm going to do them with a different wall style and different floor style. So, so what I was trying to do here is that basically I was trying to make one room next to another one without joining them. You can do that. You just have to make sure you basically trigger a room. So generate this one before you. Um, draw the next one next to it. Right, there we go. One long room. You can already see sort of shadowed what it looks going to look like. And you can see that the doors are there. You can always move the doors afterwards. So there's another room I forgot. Yeah. Right, now I'm going to go to Corridor, but I'm going to change the walls now. Um, let's go for that sort of wall. Hopefully, that'll trigger through. Can you import two images in Chronos Builder, like a template? Ah, oh, Chronos Builder now, look. Uh, last time I've done uh, anything with Chronos Builder such a long time ago, I can't actually remember what, whether you can do blueprints in it. Um, I honestly can't remember. Would have to look, start it up, and have a look at it. Yeah. So still looks the same graphic style, but you can change it afterwards. So. Because there's all one long horror, uh, horrible corridor. The corridor of horror. Remember these old D&D dungeons? I do. Where you had to count hexes or squares and say, Oh, I think we're here, I think we're here. Oh, I messed that slightly up there. Messed it up slightly. But you can edit the rooms after. So, for example, if I wanted to... Uh, to correct this and there's a wall too many I can take the wall remover make it a bit smaller go from top down it's not supposed to be a wall there there we go wall removed so um if you're interested I'll show you as well how to export this into DA sorry into foundry not everybody's a fan of foundry I am So many corridors. I mean, who would build a place like that? Probably some Lich King. Or some Demented Dungeon Master. So. Turn. That goes there. That goes there. And now I have to find where the room trigger is. There. One room. Forgot this one. Is 
So I think I messed this up slightly. I need some extra here and here. So I'm going to edit the room. Room. Edit room. Now you can basically take this room and edit it. I'll take it out. So. Yeah, something like this for Cyberpunk would be pretty cool. As I said, they are talking about different assets um, kits beyond their, their initial stretch goals, but it's probably going to be at least a year away, I reckon. And um, now I haven't actually generated this with any content. Let me just grab one room in the middle, maybe. And we're going to say this one in the middle is actually a great hall. And on this one, I want it fully kitted out. So we can see what it looks like. No, oh, there's not no furniture in it. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Um, so Let's put some uh, pillars in it. Let's do this one here. What shall we say? It's a it's a da -da -da, mansion, a living room. It's a big living room. Uh, that looks a bit better. So, let's assume I'm done now with the overlay. I'm just going to remove the overlay now. And if I can, boom, how do I remove the overlay? There we go. This is now my dungeon. And as I know, I, I didn't actually go through it and do everything here. But for example, if there's a door out of place, yeah, you can just grab it and move it where it needs to be. Yeah, that's a bit daft with the door. So, door, let's have one of those, take it here. So you can see that you can modify this quite a bit. And not everything was actually the same um, style yet. But again, you can, oh, forgot something there. You can easily now go in and say, all right, actually, I need a little connector here. Or you can say, I regenerate the whole room with a connection. And then you'll see that it will do that. Ah, it's still a living room. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And it will kit it out for you. And if I go into the token mode for a moment. There we go. I can even look at the room from the perspective of the token. Yeah, so sometimes if you want a moody screenshot of something, you can do that or you can do a free camera mode but with this one you can walk around and see what's what's here oh an uja board look at that yeah and that could be quite quite good so chronos now i think i honestly don't know that was my answer on that one um whether chronos has got anything like this oh no i'm in there off the map because i haven't actually looked at chronos for a while so but this reminds me of the old games like uh gosh what was it called Old dungeon creep uh, crawler games. So I, I've heard that people are actually using this essentially as a, as a visualization. So where the GM runs through the corridor and they they stream their their um, screen to the players. So yeah, it's empty because I generated it empty, obviously. So let's just go out of this map for a moment, out of this view, and let's go to one of the other rooms. Yeah, uh, it's got lots of lo nice little features, and I'm getting off topic a little bit. But for example, if you wanted to have a different picture there, you can go in here and say, actually, I want it to be torn. Okay. Oh, I want to load in a different picture. Let me just pick something from my art. Um, I want that picture there. Yeah, the players in the map mode would never see that. But if you take this sort of scenic route of saying, oh, this is what you see in front of you as a token, then you can actually see what's on the wall. Um, you can move the interior absolutely, so if you go to the objects here, you can see there's lots of objects available, but you can, for example, grab that piano and say, actually, I want it to be smaller, or I want it to be on top of the table. It's a toy piano, like, yeah? You can also, if you have something like grouped like this, you can group the whole thing and move the whole thing. You can rotate, you can change the patterns on your rugs if you want. 
Um, you can also, let's take something, stand the up here like a table. If you take collisions off up here, you can also sink it into the ground. Or make it hover in the air. All that is pretty cool. Yeah, Cyberpunk. Um, if I get some time, I can have another look at Kronos. But Kronos, I found quite clunky by comparison. Um, they will have come across uh, along, of course. Yeah, coin box. Some of these assets you can actually open as well, or close them. Um, just like you like. Just to make sure that your scene is just so. But you can spend hours on this if you want to. Yeah, there's a camera mode, of course, cinematic mode. Where you can fly around it and look at everything. You can get a bit seasick on this. Where is it? So you can see, ah, oh, look, there's money, money in there. DA is really cool, and this is not meant to be a, a demo of DA at all. This is really just a look at how quickly you could make at least the outline. And what you could now go and do is you could now grab it and say, okay, file, export it to Foundry, um, just like this. Yeah, it's now 71 by 70, it ended up, because it's got some borders on it. Export it, with grid or without grid, say, uh, maps. Just call it dungeon. So I will create two files, and if I just, if I manage <laughs> to start my foundry. Go into my dragon bang game. One thing you can actually do in Dungeon Alchemist is you can um, load custom assets. So there is a whole marketplace where people can put 3D assets and other things. And you can basically, your abstract assets, you can upload your own textures to things like walls and so on. So you can actually do some cyberpunk. It's not something that they offer. But if you look at the marketplace, there will be some stuff you can do. Um, i have a look, Darren. So this is now... Um, basically the previous map I made from last time. This is what it looks like. But the, the process, just to show that on here as well, create a scene, call it Dungeon 2. Uh, you point from here, actually, you just go back to Dungeon 2 thing. Sorry, you can't see that, can you? I could fit my streaming window better. So you go in here, right-click, import data and it will have put a JSON file wherever you just went. Where did I put it? Maps in here, I don't know. So dungeon JSON. It will basically that will have all the walls on it. And then you put the image behind it, background image, and it's in the same folder. So choose file. Dungeon. Eleven megabyte, it's a bit big. Save changes. Oh yeah, right click. Activate. And this is now my new my new map in Foundry. And if you look at the walls, you can see that the walls are configured. If you look at the lights, you can see that the lights are configured. Yeah? So if you had um, doors in it, you can see that the doors are configured. They're in the wrong place, but yeah, they will work in Foundry. So that's basically what you can do with this. So again, this was a bit talky today, but if I just had put my mind to it 15 minutes, I would have had the whole dungeon map recreated. <laughs> yeah. So I hope this one was better audible than my last recording of the same sort of thing. Um, if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, leave me a comment. Absolutely, I got your comment on Kronos. Thanks, Daring Paul. Um, but other than that, guys, if you if you want to know more about this, see more from this, then please, was it helpful? Again, let me know. Thumbs, comments, all that sort of stuff is going to be really helpful to, to just tell me, yeah, keep streaming. Or forget about it and have some Christmas holiday.